welcome back to It's All Good Hue. Last time we took you along with us on an awesome trip to the Chirami Aquarium in Okinawa. Check out our other videos if you haven't seen that one yet. This time we're taking you to the Okinawa Peace Memorial Park. We hope you enjoy this video. Please let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and hit the little bell icon for notifications. And also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter and get in touch with us. So where are we at, Kate? Peace Memorial Park. We're gonna go check out the, I think, Okinawa Peace Hall first. Okay, cool. Peace Memorial Peace. This park has a huge museum overlooking the coast as well, but we pretty much stayed outside since it was a beautiful day and enjoyed the outdoor parts of the park. In my opinion, one of the coolest parts of this place was how beautiful all the views were. Everywhere you looked around, it was gorgeous views, whether it's overlooking the whole park or on the coast or the museum itself, it was beautiful. It was incredibly humbling to see over 200,000 names of all the people who died in the Battle of Okinawa. What does this say, Katie? That is not in English. So I'm afraid I don't know. That's quite the, quite the museum. We go a lot of cool places. We got the Korean Peninsula and the Japan. This seemed to be the center point of this park. We were surrounded by the ocean, the names of the dead in the park, and the huge museum dedicated to them. The Battle of Okinawa went from April 1st to June 21st, 1945, as a World War II battle fought between the U.S. and Japanese forces on Okinawa. It was dubbed the Typhoon of Steel for its ferocity, and the battle was one of the bloodiest in the Pacific War. American casualties numbered some 12,000 killed and 36,000 wounded. In total, an estimated 110,000 Japanese troops were killed, whereas fewer than 8,000 surrendered. The civilian population of Okinawa was reduced by one-fourth, 100,000 Okinawan men, women, and children perished in the fighting or committed suicide under orders from the Japanese military. English. Who else is back here? Going through aisle after aisle of names, it really hit home how much impact this war and all wars have on the lives of those who are honored here and those who knew them. Here's the few names they found after the fact. Do 
You want a picture? Not completely sure why, but this sculpture thing off to the side was fascinating to me. We kept exploring other parts of the park, searching for the Naval Underground Headquarters, which we thought were in this park. Turns out those are a completely different location, which you'll see coming up in one of our next videos. Hi. So that was the Okinawa Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, what did you think, Katie? It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful park. Um, lots of memorial areas with names and who died and pretty coast. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They had a lot of everything. So you could, if you wanted to just walk around and explore and hike, you could do that. You can take a look at the, the water if you wanted to. Um, Go to the museum go up some vantage points. Yeah, and it was all just uh, encapsulated with beautiful landscape, so pretty awesome. Let's get a, get a thumbs up from me. Me too. Cool, good use out. <laughs>